We homeschool via experiences. For example, today for science class, they learned more about biomes, ecosystems, and habitats. First, we discussed the concepts and watched an informative video on the topic. Then, to experience these terms, we got out in nature, hiked through an ecosystem, and observed animals in their habitat, considered what those animals got for water, food, and shelter. Fungus! Yes, you see the fungus! What is its job? What is its role in the team? It's a decomposer. Yes, it's a decomposer. Get a good look. You saw that one too. You do? Oh, point to it. Which one? We also got great exercise and got to enjoy the beautiful weather and cherish some heartwarming quality time. Yeah, there's plenty of bugs in this ecosystem. I wonder where their habitat is. It's not on my face, is it? Ah! <laughs> we homeschool by taking time to explore and experience their academic subjects and goals. Why do we homeschool this way? Well, our goal for homeschooling is to give them a well-rounded education one that's more hands-on and child-led than the school system can provide and full of impactful experiences. Who's on the trail? Who are you going to find there? There? Yes, that's a deer trail, baby. I want to find a deer. <laughs> it's going to be nice, baby. Okay. So we avoid replicating the same repetitive techniques and methods used in school systems and mundane curriculum books. We found those methods to feel limiting and unnatural and uninspiring. Frog or a snake? Oh, maybe. That would be a nice habitat for a frog or a snake. We found experiential learning to be far more effective and impactful, but I still wanted to make sure we hit all their academic goals for their grade levels and that they had supportive resources to help them learn. That brings me to the how. How do we homeschool this way? Well, I put together academic guidebooks with resources to help keep us on track while we enjoy homeschool freedom. Forest, grassland, desert, aquatic, Polar. Very good, all right. I made lesson routines for both structured and experiential learning days. I gathered lists of educational videos that we can use to reinforce each lesson. I've written lists of activities and field trips that we tried and loved and the ideas that we look forward to trying next. And I made them worksheets and subject review charts to help them remember the concepts they learn. I think I like both. Maybe if the grassland had a river grass, and I like how it looks. And because we find horses in there. These resources help our homeschool days to flow smoothly. There's room for us to be creative and fun with the lessons. And I can rest easy knowing that they've covered the common core subjects and concepts for their grade level. So I can make pretty trees and flowers, and leaves falling on the ground, picture, but grasslands are nice. Today, they're completing worksheets to journal about their scientific observations. They identified which biome they were in, the characteristics of the ecosystem that they explored. Grassland. All right. This biome has an ecosystem with... They compared the animal habitats and colored a picture of their experience. Which animal is it going to be? It's going to be a squirrel, a bunch of flies, mm. and a deer print. Squirrel, a bunch of flies, and deer prints. I love the flies because they were everywhere. The resources that I've made for our homeschool days have been so helpful to us that I've made them downloadable and printable so that others can use them too. So if you're looking for simple guidance on what to teach for each grade level, guides that support you and your child's homeschool vision, materials to refer to, and ideas to help your child enjoy and experience new concepts, you can get these homeschool subject guides on my website, which is linked in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. Yeah! You've done some really, really nice work. What did you learn about today? We learned about the ecosystem, big biomes, yeah. and the habitat If you're new to my channel, you can check out the other videos about our homeschool days and how to start homeschooling. Either way, I look forward to sharing more of our homeschool ideas, materials, and experiences as we learn and grow. I hope you found this video helpful and that you get to enjoy the gifts and freedoms of homeschooling. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Get the baby! Get the fire off the baby! No! No! There you go, baby. You no. saved her!